everyone, we're going to use the principle of mathematical induction to prove that the sum of uh, i squared from i equals 1 to n equals this right-hand side here. And this is for all uh, positive integers, for all n that belongs to the positive integers. Now, if we want to, let's, we can write this out a little bit so it's not so intimidating. Let's write out first three terms. So if you plug in 1, you get 1. And this is summation sign. And plug in 2, that's going to be 4. 2 squared is 4. Plug in 3, you get 9. So um, it's just your sum of your squares. And then plug in n for the last term. And that equals that. They just wrote it. This is the expansion of the condensed form with the summation sign. And for our proof, what we're going to do is we're going to show, assume, and then prove. And we're going to start with showing that um, step one is to show that it's true for n equals 1 is true. Let's just put it that way. So just plug in 1 here. You get 1 squared equals and then plug 1 into that. So put 1, 1 plus 1, and 2 times 1 plus 1. And that's divided by 6. So this is going to be 1 times 2 times 3 divided by 6 and that equals 1. So we have 1 equals 1. So our step 1 is true. Now for our assumption, we're going to assume that um, it works for all n equals some k. So all you do is you copy this down. I'm going to go ahead and expand it like we did on the first slide. So I'm going to write 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus dot 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 and then uh, instead of n write k squared. And then on the right hand side, every everywhere you see an n, just put k instead. This is your assumption. All right. Now you're proving, you're going to prove that it works for all the next terms. So for n equals 2, n equals 3. So for uh, you want to prove that it works for all next terms. So that would be k plus 1. Now how you start with that is you're going to write this out. <coughs> so write out this sequence. Uh, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus dot 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 plus k squared. And then um, your next term, you just take this previous term and put k, everywhere there's a k, you put k plus 1. So I just did that. All right. Now you also have to add it to your right-hand side, which is your summation of the left-hand side. So this k is going to turn into k plus 1. This uh, is going to turn into the next term after k plus 1 is k plus 2. And for this one, it's going to be 2k plus 3. All you're doing is you're adding the 2 to that 1 because that's your slope. Or you could just take 2 and everywhere there's a k. So instead of the k, put k plus 1. And this will give you 2k plus 2 plus 1. And that gives you the 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. So however you want to do it. And this is um, divided by 6. All right. Now that you did that, what we want to do is um, prove this. And we already know what this equals. This equals um, this from our assumption line. So that's going to be k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 divided by 6. And then you're going to add this part, k plus 1 squared divided by 6. Well, we don't have any division. 
So basically, to have the common denominator, we're going to put a 6 here and a 6 here. Now, all we have to do is to simplify this numerator and um, make it look like this right-hand side here. So I'm going to take care of that. Uh, I'm going to copy this down again. So we have, um, let me see, we have k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1. And then we have um, the plus 6 times k plus 1 squared divided by 6. And um, I'm going to go ahead and write what all this should equal. This should equal k plus 1, k plus 2, times 2k plus 3, divided by 6. Alright, now, um, for the algebra here, instead of simplifying all the numerator, let's look what we have. This is our final answer that we want it to look like. And you notice that we have a k plus 1 here. And if I separate these two out like this, both of these have a k plus 1. So what I'm going to do is factor out a k plus 1 with the greatest common factor. So if you factor out a k plus 1, we get, I'm starting from here, k plus 1 times, and so I factored that out, and we're left with k times 2k plus 1 plus, and I factored out a k plus 1 here, so now I just have 6 times k plus 1 left. When you think about it, if you um, distribute this back, you would get back to the original. So we just factored that out. Now let's simplify this part. So now we have k plus 1 times, so this part's going to be 2k squared plus k, and this part's going to be 6k plus 6. Now simplifying that, oh, by the way, all of this is all over 6 all the time. All right, so factoring, cleaning that up, we get 2k squared plus 7k plus 6 divided by 6. Now all I have to do is factor this out, and I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and look and see what I need. Um, so I need a 2k and a k, and I'm just going to check and um, put my plus 3 here, plus 2 here, double check to make sure we get 4k plus 3k is 7k, make sure it works. And this is all over 6. So it does match. These two do equal. So we did prove that the right-hand side uh, matches the left-hand side. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.